and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video and it's very different from the rest of the videos I have uploaded because I'm going to be showing you guys the Shopee haul I did from the 99 sale as well as showing some purchases I made throughout the past few weeks and I haven't been able to open them because I've been very busy with my recently opened Shopee store and I'm going to give a shout out. Go check us out on Shopee. It's called Zenith QC at the shops. So if you're in the Philippines and would like to check out some school supplies that you might need for the school season, uh, check us out! Alright, now that self-advertisement is over, let's go ahead and check out my parcels! So before I dive into all of the parcels that I have purchased, I'm gonna be showing you guys the products I just used on my face, which is the Glam & Polish Glow Goddess. I did not put anything else on my face other than this, as well as for lips. So this is the Intuit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that almost fell. Is the Intuit Satin Matte Liquid Lip in the shades S M L M number ten Red Delight. Here it is. Did I see? Ginaganyan ba para magfocus? Anyway, there. And then here's the Revlon um, lip gloss. Revlon Super Lustrous 108 Cosmic Queen. Alright, so these are the three products that I just used on my face, nothing more. So definitely you'll be able to see some of the um, unwanted blemishes on my skin right now. But that's not the point for this video. This video is all about unboxing and unpacking the parcels I have. Okay, so these are all of the parcels we're working with. Let me show you. That's how much I have. Plus, last week, Tuesday, this finally arrived. Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay parcel. And I think they mix my orders together. I'm not sure. I'm gonna find out when I open this. Okay, you guys. So, I zoomed you guys out to, to also see my reaction and how I unboxed the, the parcels and the packages I have. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of stamps. If you are like me and it's your first time to purchase from Beauty Bay and you're in the Philippines. This is how it will arrive and it comes within a week. So if you're planning to buy from Beauty Bay, that's how long it's gonna take for you to get your parcel. So the box itself st says step inside Nikki's world. So I didn't even use my scissors. I'm just tearing up the box because I'm very excited to see what's inside. Okay, I'm gonna use a pair of scissors now because I'm really, really excited to open it. Why? Let's view it together. Ah. And this is how it arrives. I literally broke the box because <laughs> I'm so anxious to get it. Okay. Okay, so it's inside it says, Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. <laughs> it's like her intro. <laughs> okay, I feel so... Yeah. Okay, so inside there's these two paper thingies. There's a sticker for my first purchase, which was the Beauty Bay Nude 42 color palette. There is this flyer. And there's all sorts of things about the products from Beauty Bay. Yeah. Temple tutorials. There's nothing left. So anyway, we're just gonna see this nude palette for now. And I have to contact Beauty Bay regarding my second purchase because it's still not here. There's a mirror and then there are there's plastic and then there's the eyeshadows and they're so beautiful i really like how it looks do i swatch them i think i'm gonna make another video for the swatching this video is purposely made just for unboxing so this is so sad when will i get my beauty day palette from nikki but yeah i'm happy this arrived perfectly okay the mirror is not broken the shades are fine they don't look broken from the um shipping this is a beautiful palette. Yeah, I like it. And for the future videos I'm gonna make, I'm definitely gonna use this. Okay, that was the bust. That was the very first parcel I opened and 
I was hoping it was already the Temple Tutorials eyeshadow palette, but apparently it was just my very first purchase from Beauty Bay. So I'm really hoping I'll receive my Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette soon. Shout out to Beauty Bay! Come on! A shout out to Miss Ria. She's my fellow makeup artist. And within this quarantine season, she's just like me, uh, a makeup artist who has lesser gigs or no gigs at all because we are very afraid to go out of our houses for quarantine. And so we are trying to give ourselves some source of income we are selling online. And this is one of the shirts that I purchased from her. So if you're interested, go contact her. I'll link her profile down below. It's now time to get into the 99 haul. So this package just came in yesterday. So let's open it up. I think I'll use my scissors. And that's it. This parcel is from Beauty Glaze. It's known for their eyeshadows. So far, that's what I know. So I'm also interested what if their brushes are also soft. This is like a booky brush for foundation. It's soft. So this is the powder brush. Then I also got a highlighter brush. So much plastic. So protected. Okay, so this is the highlighter brush. So I bought three different brushes to try out. So, oh, I don't have to cut this. This is the Beauty Glaze Color Board Meet Your Match Eyeshadow Tray. It's this big, if you're curious, and this is my hand. So I'm gonna open it. There's a vacuum seal. It has a magnetic closure. Ooh, check it out, guys. So in this eyeshadow palette, there's four plates. Ta-da! So this one I got, I think, at a discount rate because it was on sale when I purchased it. So definitely, I'm gonna be trying this out in my next videos to come. Okay, next parcel. Okay, so these are makeup brush containers, and you open it from this side, and there you go. And you can make it stand as you work, so you just leave it open, and then it can stand for you, like that. So, I bought this for a supposed gig, but... Of course, because of quarantine, it wasn't, it didn't push through. Okay, next parcel. And let's open. Ooh, this is the Maybelline parcel. As you can see, this is how it arrives. Ooh, they did layers of this. That's nice. Okay, so we have this blush. It's a blush in the shade Rose, number 30. What else did I buy? Oh gosh. I broke the container. I broke the box. But what's important is what's inside of the box. So I bought this Maybelline Superstay. Seriously, it's not even in English. It says Sable 20. Oh, it's on the other side. It's sand, shade number 20. Okay, so this is an under eye concealer. I'll be using it for an under eye concealer because I also have, I, I recently bought one of these. Oh, I showed it in the video I just re I posted a week before. So that one is a lighter shade and this one is a shade next to it, the darker shade next to it. So this, I'm definitely gonna try and use it as is without any other found like a foundation on top of the concealer just to make it like seem more natural on my face. So I'm very excited to use this actually. Okay, and then I also purchased these lip liners. Well, I call them lip liners because they have that tip that's like pointed, but then they're also their real name are ink crayons. 
and I like these two shades apart from the other two shades that I bought weeks before that. So I have this haul from Maybelline. All right, next parcel. I'm not that excited anymore. <laughs> The first one was a bit, was a letdown. Like honestly, I thought I was gonna be revealing a Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette, but no, it's just the first palette that I bought from them. Okay, so this next parcel. Oh, these are eyeliners from BLK. It's the first time I bought eyeliners from BLK, or actually, it's the first time I bought anything from BLK Cosmetics. Well, I think it's the first time. I, I before I used to be I used to came through the drugstore and the first time I saw this in a drugstore I think was in either Trinoma or SM Mall of Asia and uh, I wasn't able to purchase any item because I wasn't sure exactly you know at the time you have stuff and then you wouldn't think to buy now I'm just looking for things to buy and look this is the liner this is how pointed the tip is it's actually this eyeliner itself is so small okay let's do swatch oh this is a brown eyeliner i bought a brown eyeliner guys check it let me see so this is the blk eyeliner i'm definitely gonna try this out in the future videos i will keep saying it because this is what you'll be able to see in the next coming video i mean of course i'm gonna try all of the makeup that i bought next purchase oh this is not cosmetics oh this is the case for my cell phone because i've been looking for a new case for my phone i'll also include this here because well it's pretty look we're coming in with a bigger parcel by the way, the beauty glaze, the beauty glaze eyeshadows, they also gave these. What are you? It's my L'Oreal haul. Okay, so these ones, I bought two shades. It's the 103 Natural Buff and the 105 Natural Beige. So these foundations, I bought them because I was told that the older version was gonna get phased out, and these would be the ones that replace them, and these would be better formulas. What? So I kind of wanted to purchase them at the time, but I didn't have enough money, and now I do. So I can buy them now, and hopefully I can try them out soon. So the reason I got two shades is because um, this one, 103, I often use this in my videos in the past, but I want to try the natural beige if it's really darker than me, or is equal to my skin tone, or if I can mix these two to make a more natural looking finish to my face i mean that's the reason why i bought these and then i also bought an eyeliner why did i buy another eyeliner is this black so it says here flash cut eye super eyeliner and there's even instructions like how to put them on and it's waterproof i also have oh i bought i think this is a lipstick it's the shade 129 eye lead is this a lipstick did i buy another lipstick is it really that way? Do you see that? It's pointed that way, so mm, it smells good. It doesn't smell toxic. I like it. it even has that sound. Oh, I like that. Okay, we have L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. Ooh, this is concerning. Cause look, did it spill? It spilled. It spilled because I can see. Okay, it's not spraying out anymore but this is very concerning so if you're gonna buy the setting spray I don't think it's advisable when it's online I mean look there's the shiny part that's what shows you that you know it went out let's see how it sprays okay Ooh, that's pretty so it's like a cloud type but yeah, I'm very concerned because it bled out. I think I'm gonna be doing a L'Oreal full face soon. I bought a lot of L'Oreal products to try. This one is the L'Oreal Blush. Dress yourself with the most couture blush colors. Shimmer matte highlighter. Ooh, okay. So here it is. It's open. It's pretty. Check it out, guys. Oh, sorry. Look at this brush. It's so cute. I think you should look at it from afar because if I put it near, it gets so flat. Wash out. But yeah, 
The blush has shimmers in it. I couldn't resist touching. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you see? I'm not sure. Okay, this blush smells exactly like this. So I think their products have the same scent. Okay, there's still one more. Ooh, I bought a L'Oreal True Match Face Powder. It's the super blendable perfecting powder in the shade Golden Beige. So here it is. And then there's a powder puff inside. So I think it's below the open. Let's go ahead with this one. What this one? That was that some packaging. There's bubble wrap, there's carton. So the carton smells a bit like from the supermarket type of carton. This is my Dove purchase. It's a body wash I want to try out because I like the beauty bar, the beauty bar lavender scented one, and I bought the body wash version of it. Ta-da! And they made it so secure. There's tape around the opening and there's no sign of leakage that was the word i was looking for there's leakage in this setting spray this one was packed so wonderfully there's no leakage thank you and there's also some freebies inside next so this one is It's my Glad King purchase! Okay, so I bought a mirror. I also bought... So I got a sponge. I really like Glad King sponges. They're really soft. They really do their job. So I bought one, another one because the one that I had before it looks like it's kind of worn out. I also bought eyelash glue for my makeup tutorials. I don't think I'll be doing any gigs soon. I use this one, the white one that um, turns blue when it's already sticky enough, and then just put it on your eyelashes. I mean, put it on, put it on. Then I've also bought this because I couldn't find mine, so I bought this one. Ta-da! The one that I had before already had rust in it, so. I thought it was already time to buy a new one. So this is a brush cleaner. Oh, oh. I'm that excited to open things, so yeah. Okay, here it is. Oh no, I scratched it. I thought it was something that I could open up and just shut off. Apparently, it's already the mirror itself. So I broke the packaging. My brand new package and I broke it. Anyway, this is the mirror. Okay, it's intact as you can see. And it can come out and lay here and then there. You can use it. Last two parcels. So this one and then another one and then we can say we're done. This is my love brown package. It says, hey babe, unbox, snap, and share. Don't forget to tag at lovebrown underscore ph. So this girl, I met her in my mermaid class. You know, I checked out her Instagram and here we are. Here is the booty scrub that I want to try out as well as the booty balm. Let's see what's inside. I don't know why, but it smells like peanut butter to me. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna try this out. I really like the packaging, by the way. Check it. There's even a paper and then there's a box. So you know that your products are safe when they arrive. Oh, by the way, this is not a Shopee haul. This is what I purchased from their Instagram account itself. There is there is no other place where you can get it, only on Instagram, according to the owner. And last but not least, let's see what's inside. Oh, this is the Betadine wash that I purchased from Watson. So, let's keep ourselves healthy and odor-free and safe from bacteria in our tiny areas. So, yeah, this is what we use, I use. And also, I also bought a Lux Organic Beauty Mist by Miss Anne Klutz. So, this is the makeup spray that I bought. I want to try it out. I want to see if it's really that good. 
and I saw this in one of the videos that I watched a few days ago and yeah I want to try it out so here it is but wait there's more okay guys so this is the last package I'm gonna be opening and this actually came with the lights I'm using right now I was thinking of unboxing both of them like do an unboxing video for both but then I realized there won't be a source of light and a good background where I'll be able to do it. So one of them, one of the lights is what I'm using right now. It's also one, it's also the same light setup that I used on the video before this. So this one is the other light source that I will be using in my makeup gigs or in my videos and the videos to come. And we're gonna unbox this right now and see this beautiful starlight. What's it called? This beautiful starlight light here it is. It's from Ange Beauty Hub and it's a LED light. We're gonna open. And this is what's inside. So I'll put it down here. Inside there's this one. It's a it's a cord where you attach for the light source. Oh also it includes the holder of your phone. Next inside is the bag. Oh, the light is inside. And this is how it looks inside the box. So there's foam. So it's cute. It's a duffel bag. Oh, and the bag has this... I don't know what it's called, but yeah, there. It has that. Okay, inside there's digital photography light instruction manual. It's in Chinese. But there's an English on the other side, don't worry. It teaches you how to assemble this. This is what it looks like. There's foam on the end. Okay. Oh. I like the sound of it. So this is what it looks like. And then there's the power switch. The one that controls the light source and then the thing that you put on a tripod so i think the other box is the tripod and here we go it is a tripod so when you open this you can just loosen up this and then so this is the maximum it can go um, but for photographers, usually you would be doing this and then just making sure that the body is closer to the ground to prevent accidents happening. But for others, I think you would prefer it like this. So it's your preference. And then it has three poles that can help it grow higher, taller. Let's attach you. This part is for the bottom. And then you have to adjust this one and then I think it's this one helps you control that from moving okay so it also has these tapes so when they're torn off they're no longer brand new okay so what's great about this is it's adjustable see and then let's plug it in. Okay, so you just plug this in here. We'll just put it in. So you know it's all good when there's this blue light coming out from this. And you can turn it on. Ooh. Okay, it's pretty. Okay. So the light is adjustable to a, from a cool tone to a warm tone. So if you like what you see and would like to see more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the bell button to be notified on all of my latest uploads. Make sure to like and comment as well. This really helps me a lot. Tell me if there's any other content you want to see from my channel. I would be very open to see which one is more um, feasible to me. And also, don't forget to follow me on my social media, which is fb.com slash tapanmua and also tapanmua on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye!